Okay, so one of the first videos I wanted to do is um, books from Paper Pie, formerly known as Westbourne Books and More, that I use for homeschooling. I've been homeschooling Raina for um, both years of preschool and kindergarten, and now she's going to be entering first grade in the fall. So I just wanted to share a few of those books with you. Um, Raina uh, has been reading for a long time, um, and now she's learning to spell, right? You're doing yeah. really good with that. Yeah, and I'm learning to write my whole name and my address. You already yeah, can do that really yeah, well. Uh, yeah. But she's also learning to form sentences. And uh -huh. so this book, Lift the Flap, Grammar and Punctuation, has been super awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so we love... Sorry, get out of the way. Hey, I'll flip them. Do you want to open one of them? Okay. So um, don't get in front of the camera, though. you got to do it to the side. Oh, see? Yeah. So anyway, this book is full, sorry, there's a glare there, is full of a great information about like nouns and adjectives and she can lift the flaps and she can read the little blurbs and learn about like what's an adjective, Raina? It is a, um, um, something that describes a noun. Right, it describes a noun. And so um, she's gone through almost half of this book so far and it's really helping her to like form sentences on her own um, and just understand parts of speech. So we've really loved that one. Whoops. Um, okay, another one that I use every single day with her. <laughs> well, is... well, unless it's summer and we can't too. Yeah. Right. But in during school, I use this every single day. This is the state capitals book. And if I open this, things are going to come falling out because I've got like little, I've got like maps and, and I've got different like information from the states and stuff in here uh, that I kind of added. But anyway, let's just show you one of these pages. So Raina has been learning about different states. Uh, I do a state of the week. And so she's been learning about the state capitals. This gives information about each capital. It shows the flag, where it is in the country, um, the population, um, large other large cities, when it entered the Union. What was the first state to enter the Union, Raina? Um, I know it was one of the 13 colonies. It I was. Know that. Yeah. You know which one it was. Um. I kind of forgot. You kind of forgot? Oh, no. Oh, Denver. No, it is a D, though. <laughs> Dover. Dover what? Delaware. Delaware. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Anyway, Delaware. so um, I use oh. that one every single day with her. And yeah. um, so we can, like, we're, only, we're only about halfway through this book learning about all of our states. <laughs> okay, a couple more. Video is going to get long, huh? <laughs> Okay. But um, we've already done three minutes. I know. Okay, this is one that I read um, a few times to her last year. 24 hours in, an Ant in Antarctica. We were learning about like different um, environments and habitats. And this is a super cool book. I liked it probably more than she did. <laughs> but this takes you through basically like 24 hours. It's written almost like a like a comic book. Um, and it takes you through 24 hours uh, with someone who lives and works in one of the... Um, the um the word is escaping me right now but they live in one of like the compounds in in a lot in yes in in antarctica and um it takes you through a day in a life of like what they do and uh how they do it and the people they interact with and what just what it's like and i just thought that was a really cool book all right last but not least for this video anyway and again i could go on and on and on about all the books that i use but uh this is a series actually that i use it's the 100 things to know about and we have saving the planet we have the human body we have space we have food and we have history. Um, the one that I used the most last year was saving the planet. We do stuff for like Earth Day um, and we do talk a lot about like recycling. Yeah, and we have to turn off. And one of the things, we should turn off lights after using them. So, right. so people who follow my mom, make sure you do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a I have a bookstagram account, so nobody is following me, but she thinks that that's what we're doing right now. But no. Anyway, um, so this is a really good one. Uh, all, every book in this series is great. But what I would do is just even just take a page or two in the book a day and we would just read about this one is face masks for cows could clean up their burps. 
<laughs> uh, and some of them have funny things like that and they don't make any sense. And then you read it and you're like, oh, that's interesting. It's not what's possible. It's what's not impossible, right? So anyway, we learn about different ways uh, and their stories and they're like short little things, right? So this is like 63, 64, and we would read just maybe two of these a day. And they were gave like really good, uh, excellent information with pictures um, and detailed information about how things you can do to save the planet. So, bye. <laughs> yes, so that that is our video on um, books that we use for homeschooling. And again, there are so many others. Uh, that really is just the tip of the iceberg on a few of the ones that we use. We use a lot of activity books, sticker books, yes, uh, white and we also books have all the time school too. School monsters. Hey Jack and Billy B. Brown. Those are ones that Raina reads, so we'll do another video on those, okay? Yes, Say bye! bye. <laughs>